Hey what's up, Adit here. Now smart home devices are fun to use. They can be controlled from anywhere, any place and that makes our life easier. Now what about making a normal device smart? If you ask me, I would say that's next level. And yep, we are going to see such a device today. So let's begin. This is a smart breaker from Homemade. It's basically a smart switch that can be controlled from our smartphones or smart assistant. And what's its use? See if you have a fancy light or a ceiling fan which is non-smart, then you can bridge this between and make them smart. Cool right? Now first up let's take a look at the box. As it is a smart device, yes it works with Google Assistant and Alexa. Flip it over and we can see a QR code to download the app and some other details. We don't get anything major or too complicated inside the box, it's just a simple unboxing. We get a simple but detailed user manual which will come in handy while installing it. Next up we have the main device, we also have some plastic cover to cover up the wires and screws. Yep, they provide them too. I plan to use this to automate few auto lights in my home. Now this supports 16 amps which means you can easily connect geysers washing machine, ACs, etc. And now about the physical overview. It is fully made up of plastic. At the top we have a QR code to download the homemade smart app for iOS as well as Android. Next to that we have a pairing button to connect it with your smartphone. Also at the either end of the device we have the input and output ports. Now let's see about it's working and how to connect it with your smartphone. So for that I'm going to show you a simple demonstration with these. We have two sets of wires here, one goes to the plug and other goes to a bulb holder. The idea is to bridge this device in between these two things. And if you guys are considered buying this device, I would recommend you to do such an initial setup before installing it somewhere permanently. So by doing that you can get a brief idea about its working and in-app features and so on. Okay now I have done the initial setup, as you can see I have connected the plug to the input of this device and the output goes to the bulb. Okay now let's switch it on and uh, oh, please don't blast off. Okay, why? Okay, uh, yes it's working. Okay but how to connect with smartphone? No. Isn't there a pairing mode? It's time to read the user manual. Press and hold the button for 7 seconds until the... Okay, oh. so you have to hold the button for 7 seconds. Earlier I was holding it for 5 seconds, so yeah. And I forgot to mention earlier, we have a little LED light over here and now it's blinking, which means that the device is in pairing mode. And now let's connect it with the app. The app name is Homemade Smart. You can get it either from App Store or Play Store. So if you're a new user, select sign up or login. And after logging in, we have to select the smart breaker and connect it with the Wi-Fi. The setup is done and yep, it works. While you are inside the app, you can see a big on off button. And at the bottom, there are two more buttons, timer and settings. And this timer tab is next level. Yes, of course, you can set a timer. For example, if you set a timer for two minutes, then it will automatically shut down after that. Also, it has schedule function too. As I said earlier, I am planning just to automate my outdoor lights so I can set a schedule to turn it on every day at 6 pm and turn it off every day at 10 pm. Also, you can easily integrate it with Amazon Assistant or Google Assistant. Now, I have named it as Outdoor Lights. So, Alexa, turn on outdoor lights. Okay. And you can get this on Amazon at 650 rupees and I think it is a worthy buy. That's it for now. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're still not subscribed to the YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I promise you there's a lot more content coming up. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.